Hello again. Let's continue our discussion under Article 1180. You know? So, very easy lang tong provision na to under the still on the main topic of pure and conditional obligation. So, it says here that when the debtor binds himself to pay when his means permit him to do so, the obligation should be deemed to be one with a period deemed to be one with a period and subject to the provisions of article 1197 so 1197 it tells us about 11 um, obligations with a period so yun po yung na sinasabi ng 1197 pero ano bang pinakabuod ng 1180 ang sinasabi lang ng 1180 na kapag daw ay ang debtor he binds himself um for the payment of the obligation kapag mer his means ay permit him to do so ay ang mangyayari po atin po siyang ititreat na obligation with a period so here ha, take note ang nangyayari dito as a conclusion parang ang period ng payment ay nagdedepende purely on the will or exclusively ng will lang ni debtor paano po kapag ganon so ang ating ng treatment ay siya po ay magiging obligation with a period dito naman po under 1180 hindi naman po issue yung payment e eh, magbabayad siya yung time lang ng payment ang hindi po maliwanag tama ba? ano hindi lang po maliwanag ano pa po yung magiging remedy na pwedeng gawin ni creditor na yung kapag sinasabi nga ni ni debtor yung katulad ng tono nito yung mga terms na ay ba, babayadan kita when i can afford o di kaya i will pay you late little by little or i will pay you when i have money yun yung mga pareho yung tono or tenor ano ng terms ng obligation so dapat ang treatment natin niyan ay obligations with a period so, when the debtor make that promise that when his means permit him to do so when it comes to the payment or fulfillment of the obligation, what should be the remedy on the part of the creditor? Ano ba yung, kailan po yung demandability? Can the creditor demand for the immediate performance of the obligation? Of course not. He could not make an immediate performance or in, enforce for the immediate performance ano kasi nga yun nga po yung nagiging um ano terms po ng obligation eh di anong pwede pong gawin ni creditor ang creditor po ay po pwede po pwede po he could go to court and then have the court fix for the date of payment ano um, tatandaan nyo lang when it, when it comes to those cases that the, that the court is fixing for the um, time of payment hindi naman po nagde-demand si debtor no, ng payment ng obligation he only wanted for the fixing of the date of the payment and then sa kapa kapag po na fix na ni court yun pong atin pong uh, tawag nito yung date for payment then the obligation would be demandable ready on the date as fixed by the court so take note ha so here when the debtor promises to pay when his means permit him to do so ang treatment nga ay it should be as an obligation with a period what depends upon the will of the debtor is whether he should pay or not kasi he needs ano, he has really had to pay what is left only to his will is the duration or yung time ng payment ano, duration of the period if the debtor and creditor cannot agree on their own as to the specific time then he would have the creditor has a recourse to go to court and have the court fix for the period of payment under article 1197 paragraph 2 so the same import as when my means permit him to do so sabi ni debtor ayo little by little as soon as possible ano pa ba from time to time or as soon as i have money at any time i have money impartial payments so yun yun po when i am in position to pay yun yung mga similar na mga imports according to 1180.
Ano? Let's proceed now under 1181 as a continuation pa din ng ating classification na pure and conditional obligations. In conditional obligations, acquisition of rights, so this refers to suspensive na condition, as well as extinguishment or loss of those already acquired, so this refers to resolutory conditions, shall depend upon the happening of the event which constitute the condition. So, madali na lang tong intindihin. Parang ang pinaka-issue lang eh, ano ba yung magiging effect ng happening ng condition? Dalawa lang yan. Ano? At dalawa din po yung ating classification ng condition. So, dalawa lang po ang pupwedeng maging effect kapag po nagha-happen yung isang condition. It's either ma-acquire po natin yung mga rights o di kaya man ay malulos po natin yung mga rights na already acquired na. Kapag ma-acquire po natin yung mga rights, ibig sabihin nito, subject siya to a suspensive condition. Tama ba? So, let's say, let's have an example. As an example ha, um, you have your car insured with an insurer ano, against loss and damage. So, nakalagay dun sa policy na dapat daw ang driver um, nung car na iyon na naka-insure ay dapat siya din yung owner at saka dapat meron siyang valid na driver's license. Ano. Ngayon, ang car uh, figured an accident o was involved in an accident. And the driver, it happens na pinagamit mo siya sa iyong, ano, sa iyong barkada. And that barkada of yours has an expired license. Ang question ngayon, ngayon, ang question lang ngayon, would the insurer, in my example, would be liable to pay for the damages and, um, tawag nito, in case of um, the damages to the car, yung kakaroon siya ng mga dents. And even it to cost total total panerek would would a creditor liable under the um under the insurance na uh, contract that we have entered into? Well, I don't think so. Kasi ang condition po natin ay as um I've mentioned that it should be ano ngayon dapat may valid sa ka ang driver daw ay dapat yung owner mismo ng sasakyan. At saka, dapat din ay, anong tawag nga ito, may valid at hindi expired ang license ng driver. So, it happens to be na hindi naman po na meet yung condition. So, in those case, ano, anong mangyayari po? Wala pong liability, ano? Hindi po ma-acquire kasi hindi po nag yung condition. Tama ba? So, we have here another example, I believe. Um... When it comes to uh, acquisition of rights, the happening of the condition, so if the condition is suspensive na naman, the acquisition of rights by the creditor depends upon the happening of the event which constitutes the condition. Yung efficacy or effectiveness or obligatory force is conditioned upon or subordinated to the happening of a future and uncertain event. So that if the suspensive condition ay hindi po nagte-take place, ano, the parties would stand as if wala naman would stand as if the conditional obligation has never existed. So this is what I've mentioned on my previous na discussion. Na kapag no fulfillment, edi no obligation. That is under the obligation which is subjected to a suspensive na condition. Kasi here, before the suspensive condition has taken place, what is acquired by the creditor is a mere hope or expectancy of acquiring a right. Yun lang po. Let's now take under resolutory condition. This is quite easy lang. I know. So, what about the loss? What is the effect of the happening of an event? There could be one effect is the loss of rights already acquired. Then, we could say that this is a con an obligation which is subject to a resolutory condition of which the happening of the event which constitutes the condition produces the extinguishment or the loss of the right already acquired. So, loss of the right already acquired. 
So, here, as an example. Aring si seller sold to the buyer a parcel of land subject to um, the seller's right to repurchase. So, pwede daw siyang mag-repurchase. Masyadong komplikado. Mahirap to. Anyway, uh, ang, ang simple example lang din ay I will give you, yun nga kanina din, I will give you, I'll give you an allowance until you graduate your four-year course. So, in that condition, in that ano, condition being set na I will give you my allowance until you graduate, ay automatically, ay ano po, nagkakaroon ka ng right, however, kapag nag-graduate ka nga, or the happening of the graduation, you would lose every right to receive the allowance in accordance to what I have um, mentioned in our obligations, in, our, in the obligation that we have constituted. Yun lang po yung atin pong uh, pinaka-perfect example diyan. So, this one is a condition subsequent when it comes to resolutory condition. Let's have 1182. 1182 is a quite long topic. Then we'll have a separate na lang na um, discussion.